From vroom vroom to shroom shroom, it turns out the cavernous buildings of the former Holden factory at Elizabeth are ideal for growing many different exotic varieties of mushroom. The airflow in these rooms, you have to replicate a rainforest with the effect of a butterfly. You really don't want the air to, to push the mushroom around at all. Hundreds lost their jobs when the car maker closed down six years ago. Now two are back on the payroll, including Daniel Higgins, in a fledgling workforce of 30 that will eventually get to 350. Yeah, it's good to be back. Well, it feels different to be back here again. He's become a, an extremely valuable member of my team in a very short amount of time. Uh, if I could have another dozen of him, I'd take him in a heartbeat. The self-confessed motorsport nut loves being able to use the Holden site, but it only came after spending 25 years working out how to design this vertical farm with racks and racks of mushrooms. Chefs and food manufacturers today came to see how they're grown from start to finish over 21 days. Concentrating on exotic mushrooms got a big tick of approval. There is some varieties of mushroom that are going to be grown here that, as a chef, I'm really excited by because there are things that have in the past been really difficult to find and hard to find consistently and of a high quality. The $110 million factory will eventually produce more than 20,000 tonnes of mushrooms and mushroom products each year, including vegan-friendly meat and leather alternatives. And in an industry dominated by imports, the company says it has mushroom to grow. Matthew Smith, ABC News, Adelaide.